Welcome to the God Project. This particular uh, reading is called The Easter Lie by William J. Eisenman, D.D. The Passover is a memorial of the crucifixion of Jesus, who was the Lamb of God sacrificed for us. Jesus paid the penalty for our sins, which reconciled us to the Father. John 1, verse 29. According to the Bible, all have sinned. Romans 3, verse 23. And the wages of sin is death. Romans 6, verse 23. Jesus knew his future and asked the Father if he, Jesus, had to die. Might there not be another way? Take this cup from me, Jesus said, Luke 22, verses 42 and 44. John 18, verse 4. Jesus suffered much before the crucifixion in order to avoid sin, Psalm 69 verse 20. Jesus was human and suffered all the pools and uh, influences from the devil, as do all humans. Jesus was flesh and blood, not the God that he once was when in heaven as the Word. When Jesus died, he died. He was dead for three days and three nights and had to be resurrected by the Father. Jesus was crucified the day before an annual Sabbath. Remember that Hebrew days begin at sunset. A high day is an annual Sabbath, and there were two of these, and the weekly Sabbath in the week that Jesus was murdered. With a little detective work and some deductive reasoning, we find that Jesus was crucified by modern reckoning on Wednesday, April 25, A.D. 31. Jesus kept the Passover with his disciples after sunset on Tuesday. And on Wednesday morning, he was captured and brought before Pontius Pilate. Jesus was tried, mocked scourged, and then crucified at 9 a.m., Mark 15, verses 22 through 25, also Mark 14, verse 53, and Mark 15, verse 1. Jesus died at the ninth hour, or 3 p.m., the day before the first day of the second annual Sabbath, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And just before he died, when he had taken on the sins of the world and became sin himself, he was momentarily cut off from the Father. The Father turned his back on Jesus. And Jesus cried out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Matthew 27 verse 46, Isaiah 53, verses 9 through 10. Many believe Jesus died of a broken heart, but in fact, he bled to death as a result of the spear wound to his side. Matthew 27, verses 47 through 50. God the Father gave his only begotten Son to pay the price for our sins, John 3. Verse 16. These are not just pretty words. This is serious stuff if the God of the Bible exists. According to tradition, Jesus, a Jew, had to be buried before sunset. Jesus was buried on the preparation day before the Feast of Unleavened Bread. John 19, verse 31. Luke 23, verse 56, which fell in that week 
on Thursday. Jesus did not die on Friday. Count! On Sunday morning, when the women went with their spices to the tomb, Jesus was already risen. Mark 16, verse 1. Luke 23, verse 56. Exodus 20, 8 through 11. Exodus 23, verse 12. And Exodus 31, verse 15. Jesus was resurrected on Saturday at sunset, 72 hours after he died. Easter is a pagan holiday that worships the sun. Easter masks and mythologizes the only sign Jesus gave that he was, indeed, the Son of God. Jesus understood that 72 hours, three days, and three nights were made up of three daylight periods of 12 hours each and three dark periods of 12 hours each. Jesus was not stupid. And if you can count, then you know that from Good Friday afternoon to Sunday morning is not three days and three nights or 72 hours. Easter is a deception perpetrated by Satan to confuse and divide. According to the Bible, Jesus did not die on Good Friday. The end. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club? And after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results even after all the promises? Then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you lost lost another another argument argument with a conservative conservative right-wing Republican. Republican. He talked talked over you. He screamed and yelled. yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. it. He quoted quoted scripture scripture to you. You You were lost lost because you came at him with facts. facts. Nothing Nothing but facts. facts. And And you expected that that would that would make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read Censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read Censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative, uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it, and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Megalife 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet.